My name is John Kovac, and I'd like to show you how this simple little sharpening ring can give you sharps, flats, or simple little slide techniques without using a pedal harp or levers on your folk harp. Enjoy! <laughs> note that there are two rings both made from sterling silver I use two rings because two rings provide a lot more stability than just one ring the rings are infinitely adjustable to fit people with from the smallest size to the largest size and we already talked about the, the two rings being infinitely adjustable to fit basically any finger size but in addition, we'll call this the slider. This is also adjustable to fit basically any length you would like to protrude from the ring. And also the angle is adjustable to suit your preference. I have a rough idea already of what I want. Notice there are two little set screws here. We give you a little Allen wrench to adjust the set screw. Once you put it on your finger, Notice you can also adjust it to your preferences where you want it to ride on your finger. Now once you get your ring to your preference where you want it on your finger, we're ready to get sharps and flats. And you can think of the ring sort of like a fret on a guitar where you place the ring, you're shortening the string length and therefore raising the pitch of the string. C, C sharp. Now watch, if I play a diatonic scale, now I'll play a chromatic scale. Now, you can also put the string anywhere to give you slide techniques. It's the sort of thing you have to experiment with. It's not, you don't have to be super precise, but if you, you'll, in very short time, you'll learn where to put the ring. Here's a C. Here's a C an octave higher, which is the midpoint of the string. You can even go higher if you like. This is you can go even two octaves higher. There's no limit to what you can do.